that uh, field was full of students and fans, and uh, it's really a great atmosphere, a great way to send out our seniors. We kind of dedicated this game to our seniors who have been through a lot, and you know we're proud for them. And uh, uh, this this was the best game we played all year. It was a, you know we played it. Uh, all three sides of the ball contributed. All three sides of the ball had their adversity and fought through it. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is we hung together for 60 minutes, and uh, you know, you'll you, you'll win a lot of games if you're able to do that. So uh, we we got better today. We grew today, and uh, we need to continue to improve on it. And for the team, and you touched about it, just adversity, but. With the way the season started, then Colorado, but be able to UCLA, you see some of that fight and to cap it off today. How, how proud are you, of the guys, that it's kind of come full circle? Well, I'm really proud of them, and I, you know, kind of what we need to learn from this a little bit is, you know, uh, some of this is easier than we've been making it. You know, uh, you know, it's really just hanging together and everybody doing their part, not trying to make too much happen. Uh, you know, uh, everybody do their job, make a routine play, and then. Uh, just stick in there and do it for 60 minutes, and then uh, you know don't worry about too much until the dust clears. You know. How does this game kind of compare with some of the big ones that you played in your Now this was a big one, no question. I mean they're all big, but th this this was really a big one. You know, I think uh, a lot of folks had counted us out, and our guys rose up. And you know the biggest thing that happens, uh, teams will have problems, and you know, and then they'll. That they'll quit and wave the white flag, that type of thing. And, you know, our guys never really did. We had some tough moments. We, you know, had a lot of people get knocked out this year and fought through it. And uh, and uh, you know, was uh, proud of their resiliency. They stayed excited to play and uh, capped it off with this one. Earlier this week, you talked about how important this could be with a win to set the tone going into the off season and also recruiting and all that. Can you talk about uh, how this helps uh, the team all over the place. Well, I think it does all that, and that's a good thing because our season starts on Monday. So, uh, uh, so that's that's good there, and we got a bunch of recruits in town, and this was a good one for them. To, the biggest thing that made it good was, you know, our crowd and the environment. They got to really experience that, and so I think, uh, uh, you know, that's really good. But you talked about the rivalry, you talked about the town and the environment. What did you learn, you know, with this game about the Cougar faithful and Pullman and town? Uh, I can't say that I learned anything. I mean, I knew the fans were incredibly loyal fans, always enthusiastic about the Cougs. I knew that, you know, it was a big deal to beat the Huskies, and been hearing about that since the day I walked through the door and had a sense of that before I ever got here. Uh, it was a great win. It was a great win for our institution, a great win for our fans, a great win for our players. And so, you know, and then the environment, that was... Uh, you know, I knew it would be exciting, and it was really exciting. And I was kind of amazed how quick all those fans got out there on the field. Sometimes it takes them a little while. It doesn't take them very long. How heavy is that trophy? <clears throat> Not very. Uh, no, it's, it's kind of refined quality. I mean, it's like it's like one of those where there's some artistry to it, where, you know, it's big, but it's light. Like the 45-yard field goal that tied it on the fourth and short. Did you think about going for it at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. And, uh, if I had, I suspect we would have won in regulation. We kicked it, and uh, Fernie did a heck of a job and drained the thing, and so it was good. Why did you decide to kick it? I don't know. I'm, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's easy now to say I did the right thing just because it turned out we won, but, uh, you know, just when you consider the, the value of the situation and, uh, you know, odds and stuff like that. I maybe should have gone for it. You know, I mean, it's real easy now to say, well, uh, no, that was a great decision because you won. You know, well, I, yeah, I don't know. You know, I mean, uh, a couple things happen. If, you know, if we if we go for it, we march in and score and regulation and use up the clock. The other thing is, we. Um, <clears throat> You know, go for it, and then end up kicking a field goal later. They have less time, which helps your chances in regulation. Uh, uh, I'm not sure of the perfect answer. I had about 25 seconds to make the decision. I made one. You know, Yogi Berra says if there's a fork in the road, take it. So I took it. I think the best thing he did was uh, keep drives going, just uh, focusing on uh, you know, as far as just running the offense. I thought he did a really good job running the offense well. 
you know, we hit a, a period where, you know, there was some stuff that as a quarterback it's easy to get discouraged. We dropped some balls. I mean, just, you know, drop balls and, you know, interceptions would bounce off somebody's chest, stuff like that. And so then, uh, you know, but he stayed in there, stayed focused. That not really helped uh, keep the group focused. With a, with a win like this, is it proof <coughs> to you that you guys are changing the culture here? Ah, well, if, if, we, if we do it over and over again, you know, if we can have a bunch of other games in a row that resemble this, you know, if, we, if you're just a one-time guy, you haven't changed much. You know, we've got to take this, build on it, and understand we can do it every time. How do you bottle up something like this? You know, players talk about taking it into the off season. How, how does that happen? I, I think just the example of it. I mean, it'll give you a reference point, you know, that you can build on. And, you know, it uh, allows a lot of people to know what they're capable of if they all work together. What did you think of the, the line play both ways, especially on defense? That defensive line played really good, was really explosive. Uh, he had a run in the third quarter uh, where we weren't as consistent, but uh, the biggest thing, they got big plays. You know, <coughs> they knocked their quarterback around, uh, did a really good job on running backs. In particular, I thought they rose up on in key situations. Thought our defensive line really set the tone for our defense. Uh, offensive line, I, I thought they really battled through. They, uh, we've played this entire season with six offensive linemen. Uh, we played the entire season with six offensive linemen. Two of them were walk-ons. Uh, I don't know if any of them started uh, last year. None of them started all of, all of last year. Um, but uh, and then you know as the season's gone on, fatigue set in a little bit and. Uh, Thought they really battled through. I thought they played uh, very tough today, and uh, and uh, you know fought through and did it for four quarters. I know you mentioned the off season starts Monday. How are you planning on spending uh, tonight and this weekend? Well, I got a recruit dinner here coming up in less than an hour, so I'll be I'll be going to that, and then uh, I'll attend to some of that tomorrow, and uh, uh, and then kind of put together uh, the off season, and I'll be on the road recruiting as we get into December. You haven't talked to any of the recruits yet, have you? After yeah, I've talked to a few. What, yeah. what was their impression of the office and stuff? Well, I think they're happy. I don't know how much I can comment on them, but uh, uh, they seem fairly Can't, pleased. Well, I think you can talk about it if you don't mention any names. But I think. I forget, though. <laughs> <laughs> any final questions for Coach? Well, one time I went to a game and said, you got recruits here. I said, yeah, I'll give them... Oh, everybody give them some applause. Well, come to find out, 